Good morning and happy Friday, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, February 10th, 2023. Well, my goodness, yesterday uh, tossed us. We've been seeing kind of daily reversals here in the market, and yesterday decided to toss us in a gap up and then sell off day or a nasty whips off for today. So what does that mean as we approach uh, today's trading? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, my goodness. We've had quite a menagerie of price action tossed to this, this week where we'll um, re reverse overnight and gap up and then sell off and then reverse overnight and gap down and then buy it back up and just back and forth as this uncertainty continues to play out here in the market with future rate increases, possible recession, uncertainty about what the uh, government's going to do with our debt situation, um, that being stretched out, um, more um, uncertainty about the Ukraine war, just all kinds of things um, in the mix out here. And then we toss in all of these earnings reports that have been creating a tremendous amount of emotion and we can understand why the volatility has been so high and the price action so challenging. When we take a look at the diamonds, you notice in here that what we've got going is um, kind of a, well, it's just been a nasty little consolidation range here. Um, obviously, um, the diamonds rallied really, really hard and it was the first index kind of leading everything up. And then it really started to struggle here. And as you can see, now just kind of stuck in the mud here um, overall. Um, I mentioned yesterday, if those bulls would find inspiration, what we needed to see them do is test or maybe even break this resistance here to the upside but unfortunately, they were unable to do that. As a matter of fact, almost immediately after the market opened, some sellers came in and they turned out to be a little bit more tenacious as the day went on, pushing us back down. And I had suggested if the bears were to find inspiration, look for a retest of this low. Well, we did that too. We came down and retested the low. And now the question is, will this low hold this morning? Will there be follow through with some bearish activity here this morning to push us down? And I think this is a rather wide range area. If you look right in here, there's some price support right in here along the, the lows of that little consolidation area. And then there's some price support right in here along this area of price support in the chart. So now the question is, will we push down? Uh, will we see those bears follow through? Or will those bulls defend this support level and bounce us back up into some more chop of this consolidation? Um, yeah, boy, I wish I knew the answer to that. But um, looking at this chart, at least at the moment, we see a little bit of bearish follow through here in the pre-market so we'll want to watch carefully for that possibility we could push down in, in here and maybe test the lower side of that wedge unfortunately that still is a pretty big point move and could be a little bit painful um, if you haven't already um, worked to take some profits in the market now taking a look at our technicals here you can see that yesterday was a retest of our 50 day moving average, which is that dashed blue line. And it's sitting right in there on that 500 day moving average, which is the dashed green line. And as you can see this morning, we could very well break those levels here this morning. It's gonna be really interesting to see if those bulls step right back into fight. I would not expect them to give up easily. So um, watch that closely. Um, I think that could be a critical area for the Dow. Now, taking a look at our um, SPY, SPY has been very extended in the short term, and we've talked about the, that parabolic nature that we've seen here in the market. I suggested yesterday, if the bulls find that inspiration, then look for that retest of it up in here and to watch that fairly significant resistance level in the chart. And the bears end up finding that inspiration. I suggested look for this move down in here to test 
um, the, the low of this range and watch for that possibility of a lower high. Well, both of those kind of things happen. We test that, tested down here on that um, uh, big candle support. We ended up breaking it by the end of the day. And now we do have to worry, did we just create a lower high? This three candle pattern is a reversal pattern and um, makes you wonder if those bears now are going to have the energy to follow through. And perhaps we come on down and we test the support that we see right in here in the chart. We broke through that pretty easily without a, um, um, any kind of um, retest of that support level. So it wouldn't be all that odd of circumstance to see a retest down in here. And, and again, that does relieve some of that overextended um, situation here in the chart. And unfortunately, what it may also do is it may also uh, test an even break this upside trend here in the SPY. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely here as we move on. Remember, this part of this trend got a little bit too par parabolic. And so maybe we come back and test a little bit of the longer term and see if we can hold some support in there. Now, keeping in mind, if we were to break down below this wedge in here, there's going to be possibly some fear coming into the market. And you could see um, a little bit of price support right in there would be the next level if we were to move on down. Now our technicals here in the chart, we're a long way from creating any technical damage here in the SPY. But one of the things that we do need to relieve is we need to relieve this overextension. We still have the golden cross, that uh, 50 crossing up through the 200 here in the chart. But unfortunately we had stretched so far away from those moving averages a pullback to retest some of those and allow that those moving averages to catch up does seem to be in the cards here at the moment. And QQQ has been the most parabolic and the most overextended here. Um, and as you can see in this upside trend, which was extremely steep, well, we may be giving up that trend here this morning. And I had suggested that um, if the bulls were to follow through, then to push through up into this area. And once again, uh, on all of these indexes, um, the, the amount of whipsaw that we've seen in the market, if the bulls come in to defend, I would suggest we're going to be right back up here in this range. Um, they're going to fight right back up into that area of the chart. But if those bears do find the energy to follow through, as you can see, they're, they're trying to do that here this morning in the gap down, then maybe look for some price support down here in this area. You can see these little high areas here in the chart. We've got these highs right in here that could suggest some price support in that chart could come in. If that were to fail, then I think we're coming down into this little area of price support in the chart. So watch that closely. These are pretty big point moves. And one of the things we want to remember is when we overextend a market, the opposite can be true. We can kind of get a little bit carried away in the selling and overextend as that fear starts to rush back into the market. So watch that closely. Now, once again, here, technically, no damage here at all. As a matter of fact, we're still working to try and get that 50 day moving average up through the 200 because we were so overly sold here in the QQQ and then just reversed and went to a extreme overbought condition in such a short term move. So watch that carefully, maybe pulling back in here to that 200 day moving average is just what the doctor ordered to relieve some of that pressure. So watch that close. Um, again, if we take a look at IWM, it was also on that parabolic side. And now what we're seeing here in this chart is yesterday kind of gave up that um, upside trend. We pulled back into the support level that I had mentioned yesterday in the chart. If that holds and, and the bulls step right back in, no harm, no foul. We'll just be bouncing back up here off of this price support. Um, and that certainly does look like a viable possibility here on the day. If those bears continue to push, however, and we were to break this support, well, where do we go from there? Well, maybe not that much lower, maybe down in here. You can see these areas here in the chart. We run into some of these price levels in here, uh, maybe down into there. And once again, if we look at our IWM technicals, 
Well, that really shouldn't be that big of a surprise because we're so separated from our 50 day moving average. Um, we still have that golden cross here working in our favor. So um, I don't think this is causing um, really any technical damage here. It's just relieving some of that overbought condition here in the um, in the indexes. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now this is a little bit of a shift here on what we've seen recently. We um, see a pretty um, substantial spike in fear coming into the market. And that would be the first break of a multi-month downtrend here in the VIX. Now, that doesn't mean anything. We can pop up there and reverse and go right back down. We've seen a lot of that here this week. But the question is going to be now is will we hold this downtrend um, and, and hold it as a higher low? Could we see a reversal of trend here? Maybe we have the first hint of that in the chart, but I don't think this gets too serious unless we really break through some of these resistance levels and hold some of those higher lows. So just because we pop through doesn't mean we necessarily had a reversal. We need to see a little bit more pressure here on that bearish side to say that there is some fear coming back into the market. And then if we take a look at our T2122, well T2122 gives us maybe that, whoops, gives us maybe that best hope that we could be reaching a support level here in the chart. Now, one of the things we've been dealing with here is an overextended condition in the market. We were staying overextended in the market on the hype of all of the earnings. Now we're pushing down here and we broke down past for, it's been a while since we broke down past this 50% area and if uh, and actually had a follow through. This morning we may be getting a little bit of follow through. So if we push on down into here, then we would finally relieve that pressure and say we, we actually reached into a short term oversold condition here in the market. And I'm not saying that that's going to occur, I'm saying it would be probably a nice change and a nice little relief in the market. And then we might look for some support levels and see if those bulls are really going to defend those areas and hold them as support. So watch that carefully here in the chart. Um, um, if we were to reverse and bounce right back up, well then again, we run into that situation pretty quickly where we continue to main this, uh, attain this extension. And that might mean that we could be slipping into a longer period of choppy consolidation as the market tries to rest and absorb that big upside move that we've made. If we take a look at our T2108, as you guys know, I've been mentioning this for quite some time that T2108 is being very overextended. And honestly, we, we did pull back nicely yesterday, 67, 68% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. But you can see that this is a very rare place for the market to go, going clear back to 2017 it's rare that we can maintain that kind of bullishness for very long and um, there may be some price support down um, right in here and you can see we kind of lost a little bit of that yesterday that is still a, a very bullish condition here in the market so there's no reason to fear a major panic situation or the market falling apart because we're still holding up quite bullish here now if we were to start breaking this down a little bit further well then that fear really starts creeping up and could really start to affect the direction of the market a little bit more if we see t2107 very much the same situation it was uh, it's unlikely that we can maintain such a strong bullish case here in the market for very long and um, 59 60 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average is still very very bullish so although we've pulled back i don't think we can build a major bearish case here this is just a pullback it's a rest that we've needed in the market um, it's um, coming back to a little bit of reality so watch this area in here now i think if we were to break below some of these areas in here then maybe some concern would start to creep up maybe that fear would creep up a little bit and then we could extend that downside move but remember as long as we're holding above some of those major moving averages we're probably okay if we take a look at our t2101 again 
just been whipsawing like crazy. It's just like every other day is a reversal of some point, uh, some kind. So I'm not sure we're getting that momentum information here on T2101 that we'd like to see. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we have a little bit here to be concerned about. Um, here today, we've got a consumer sentiment report. Um, that of course is always interesting to look at. It's how the consumers are feeling is kind of, you know, that direction that the market uh, will typically go. And um, if you take a look right here, we've got some Fed speakers. We've got a Treasury statement here that we'll have to deal with. Um, Baker Hughes rig count probably not going to move the market at all today. So pretty light on that economic calendar, which I think at this point would actually support those bulls just a little bit. And then on the earnings calendar, we have a bit of a rest. And we don't have nearly as many um, earnings reports today. Um, I'm still not going to cover them all this morning because I've already run a little bit longer um, in the explanations of the indexes. But um, if you want the full list of notables here today, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That will take you back to the morning blog where you can grab a, a look at those um, uh, notables. I'll cover a couple here this morning. Um, AXL. And by the way, most of these will be reporting in the morning. Um, um, not normally um, have really big earnings reports after the bell on Friday. So um, as you can see in here, we're moving in this um, downtrend here, a little bit of pressure on this stock this morning. So watch that closely. And um, the pattern that we're seeing all over these charts um, and, and all over the place is we're either pushing back up to trust press downtrends or test downtrends in those charts or we're in these major wedging patterns where we have lower highs but we also have higher lows kind of confusing patterns here in the market and that um, is one of the reasons I think we've been so choppy so watch that carefully um, also um, you might want to take a look at um, FTS today FTS will be reporting and WPC is on that list today to be reporting. So keep an eye on that. Now, one thing I would say today is not the major notables today that are you would expect to be really, um, really price um, uh, sensitive to the overall indexes. So um, that might actually favor the bears a little bit today because we don't have that that big hypey inspiration in earnings to keep them driving forward. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our um, um, uh, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, once again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I apologize. I didn't get to those um, comments yesterday. Um, as you guys know, I've been dealing with a little bit of an illness and man, oh man, I was, I was uh, really, really tired yesterday um, and didn't get to those, but I am feeling much better this morning. So I'll be back on task here this morning and we'll be answering those comments. So thank you so much for everyone who does take the time. You guys are truly awesome. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I think you're going to have to be really, really careful because of this overextension in the market and the whipsaws that we're seeing, no matter which direction you decide to trade. Um, as you guys remember, I was looking at Walmart in here yesterday and Walmart, um, I suggested, could be a potential short. Um, notice here this morning, we're getting this big uh, pop and drop going on here in the pre-market. I don't know if there was some news on that, but one thing I, I want to point out is this could actually be another failure at the 50-day moving average. And you can see that 50-day rounding off. That's not looking good overall. 
watch for an opportunity in there if those bears were to start coming into that. And remember, if the consumer is going to be weak, then we would be expecting that um, retail would struggle here just a bit. So keep an eye on some of those. You know, we've been seeing um, stocks like Costco um, surging back to the upside, but just recently showing just a little bit of pressure in here. Here's what I've been talking about. There's that big old downtrend. Um, that we pushed right back up into that downtrend and by golly, um, who, who would have guessed? The downtrend is working and pro providing that pressure back to the downside here in Costco. So watch that closely as, as stocks like that pull back. If they were to pull back and maybe rest um, sideways just a little bit, that's the kind of pattern that I like to look for. Um, when we fail a resistance level like this, push back, rally up, put in a lower high, and uh, that's where I'm looking to go short. So keep an eye on some stocks like that. Retail may be finding a place where we're struggling. Um, a place where we seem to be finding a little bit of energy uh, to the upside is some of the consumer defensive type names. Notice in here that Altria continuing to hold in here on this support. And although it's pulled back, we're seeing some of those defensive names hang in. Now, keep in mind that we're quite a ways away from this upside trend. So it is possible this could rest or consolidate all the way out to that trend. But keep an eye on that. And if you look, move on, take a look at like Philip Morris. Philip Morris has um, held up pretty strongly here. Uh, moved into quite a choppy consolidation move here in the chart. But notice that we've broken these downtrends, we've broken through some resistance, and we're holding. So look for that next opportunity in charts like this to maybe move on up um, and be kind of careful there. Now, I have to um, um, say, you know, I, I, again, guys, I have a little bit of a bias on um, stock like AMD. I'm holding a small position and watching for a potential entry to uh, make a bigger uh, trade in here. And looking at this chart, you'll notice that we've broken that downtrend here in the chart. We've broken through some support levels, but doggone it, we smacked our head right into a major resistance level here in the chart and we are pulling back. So the question I think at this point is, will we hold some price support here in AMD and maybe cling to this trend? We got a little bit overextended um, in that upside move. We went too parabolic. So this rest back into here, I would be watching for an opportunity to maybe come along here in AMD. And if that holds, there may be some opportunities to pick up a position in here. Other places I think we really need to be keeping our eye on um, it is going to be here in the dollar. Take a look at um, UUP. Um, the US dollar is trying to strengthen here just a little bit. We saw a pretty good gap down yesterday and then a reversal back to the upside. And you see that stretching here a little bit this morning trying to move up. So keep an eye on UUP. If that dollar starts to strengthen, well, that's typically not all that bullish for the market. So you'll want to be careful of that. It would also not be all that bullish for gold. If we see the dollar strengthen, you can see we've got almost an exact opposite of what we saw in the US dollar yesterday on gold, where we tried to gap up and we reversed back down. So watch that closely here. This could be setting up as a bit of a bear flag and a potential short coming in here on gold. So keep a close eye on that. There's a lot of fluctuation going on here in um, these prices as we, as we try to work out what comes next here in the market with central banks continuing to raise interest rates, possibility of recession, possibility of a, of a deficit issue or, a, or not a deficit issue. We've already got a deficit issue, but a budget issue um, in Congress that we've got to work through all of those different things out there, um, adding that uncertainty into that path forward. So it's not um, not that big a surprise to see some of these fluctuating around. Keep an eye on some of these material stocks. Um, CCJ, as you guys know, I've been mentioning this, really gapped up yesterday, found a little bit of selling. I would like to see this rest a little bit, but we're seeing quite a bit of activity in um, some of those uranium plays. Still wanna continue to mention some of these steel plays, 
although they're pulling back they might be finding some support areas in here that in the chart that may be um, something you want to keep an eye on you might also want to keep an eye on energy it has been odd we have been seeing quite the moves here in energy where nope we're, we're bullish we're bullish no nope, nope we're going to be bearish nope we're going to be bullish and i think it's all going to come down to how this um reopening of, of china plays out will it actually see an increase in demand in energy because that's going to be um could be an issue for us here in the united states and everywhere else in the world as a, as a matter of fact because if we see those gas prices going back up with the reopening of china we're likely to see inflationary numbers increase so watch that closely and you also want to keep in mind that gas prices typically kind of peak out for the summer right around memorial day so we may still see some of that upside opportunity happening here and those energy prices which could put a little bit of pressure on that inflation situation so with that guys i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for being here i do truly appreciate it I want to wish you all the best have a great great weekend and I'll see you right back here right and early Monday.